Hi guys, Val from So Fendi and Victory Stitches, and today I'm going to be quilting my Prairie Meadows quilt by uh, designs by Lori Holt. Now I am going to be doing this one with no batting, one of my favorite ways to do it. This is going to end up being more of a coverlet um, or a summer quilt, but it's going to be a coverlet because so much work has gone into this thing. I started it two years ago as a shop sample, and obviously Prairie is long gone, so this is not going to be a shop sample. And uh, basically once it goes on the guest bed upstairs it's going to be there to look pretty and when guests come this thing's coming off and something else will be on that bed because this thing is not going to be getting used and dirty so um i would also just like to say thank you to the twenty-two thousand people that watched my no batting video from a couple of years ago and when i put that out i really did think that not a lot of people would watch it and i did think i'd get a lot more hate comments and i really have not gotten any and uh, instead it's really helped and inspired a lot of people so i'm so glad that that was uh able to do that for you and i hope you guys all enjoy your summer quilts and your no batting quilts and the fact that you know you can do whatever you want to do um never be policed okay it, you're a designer designers design it's what art is so always remember you don't have to be what everyone else is okay so this here, I have the front and I have the back. Now for a back on a quilt like this, make sure it doesn't show through. So mine is a lot of white. And so my back is just plain, there you go. Um, it's actually the same color as what I used here in the background, um, which is, I use a lot of La Creme by uh, Confetti Cottons by Riley Blake, it's my favorite one. So what I have done, is the back is rolled and put on table. This here is just a regular folding table like you'd use at Thanksgiving when you have too many people. The nice thing about it is you have that line down the middle where it connects and that's great for lining up your quilts. Bonus. So this is basically out and rolled. See, it's all rolled here. Just so I can work on a small surface. This one here is almost rolled. I unrolled it so you can see it. So I thought, oh, I should do a video. All right, so. Everything is well ironed. And make sure you seriously well iron it. Okay. Got it, so let me just turn this a bit. There you go. You wanna have, of course, some at the top. I'm also gonna do the binding in just the white. I'm not gonna do another color. So I like to leave some space so I can make this my binding. I hate binding, so. Okay, let's get that lined up in the middle. There's my middle. You can stick that right on the center line. Oh, that's handy dandy. Okay, now the other thing to make sure of is you don't have anything stuck in here. So you want to go through and take out any little threads, any little hairs, anything that's going to show up because you don't have the batting to hide any of those boo boos. Now I am a pinner. Um, if you do spray based, go right ahead and spray based. And I don't spray based only because I have a ton of chemical allergies and uh, it does not like me. So I can't like it. Mm. So there we go. I can just respect it. I'll just respect it. So there we go. So what I'm going to do is how I do it on a very small table. I'm going to pin the top bit. And then, as it goes, you just move that up, roll your backside down, side. here we'll just get rolled down, and then you can roll this down more, and then you can pin that section, move it up that way, and just keep rolling and rolling and rolling. You don't have to use those like pool noodle things or anything else, um, but I mean you can, some people really like using them, because you can, you know, stick pins in them, but uh, I just roll mine. And I do this for batting too. If I had batting, there'd be another one in here with, with that in it. And I just do a little bit at a time, move it a little bit at a time, and I find I have good control. So there we go. That's what I'm going to do. And remember, you are in charge of your quilts and your quilting projects and your sewing projects. So if you want to change it up, please change it up. You do not need to use the same material. You do not need to use the exact same patterns, um, those sort of things. This thing took me forever because this background is pieced in these blocks. And I would never do that again. 
I hated it so much that it literally took me another year to do this because I just put it away and thought I can't take this piecing. And it's simple patchwork, but these squares are all different sizes and that drove me absolutely nuts. So next time I would not do that at all. This would just be a plane. So know your limits, know what you like, go do what you're gonna do. But that is what I am going to do. That's how I quilt it and I hope that helps somebody else. Happy sewing. I know I kind of ended that last video, but I'm just going to keep going. Welcome to real life. <laughs> so I have finished pinning and I wanted to show you when I was finished pinning. So here it all is. And all I'm going to do for this, I have checked my back to make sure I don't have any wrinkles. Yay, wrinkle free. Um, there we go. So what I'm going to do to quilt this, because it's a coverlet, this is not going to be used. A whole heck of a lot is just here to look pretty pretty um i am going to just basically stitch in the ditch around all these squares that's gonna be the first thing i'm gonna do i'm going to leave a lot of it after that and what i might do is some hand sewing and i might take some might go highlight a couple of these things with some pearl cotton or just even just a regular white and just let that speak for itself i haven't quite figured that one out yet but just enough to tack down sort of each thing. So I'm not gonna be like for, okay, let's work on this block here. There we go. So what I would do typically is I wouldn't pick all of these things to do because that would take me forever and I really don't have that time. If you have that time, do it, it'll look pretty. Um, but what I will do is I will just basically go around this guy here, probably with some quick hand stitching or some pearl cotton to make it pop out. And I might do these four flowers. The rest of it doesn't have to be done because there's no batting behind it to make it pop up, really. So quilting around it is not gonna give you that effect either. That's one thing when you do make these type of quilts, um, you don't have something to raise it up. And if you did want certain things raised up, what you would do is when you make this applique here, put some fusible fleece or some batting in the applique when you make it and that will give it that pop up. But other than that, it's only gonna stick up so much, okay? So that's what I'm going to do for these guys. Same with this one here. I would just do basically around here, 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 here in the middle there. Um, the rest of it, I wouldn't. And uh, that's how it's gonna be finished. And then for the binding, what I do, because I hate binding, probably like most of you. Um, actually, let me do it from the top because the top's a better one. Oh, there's so much extra fabric around the rest of the, the edges here. So what I would do here, can you see this on camera? Yeah, you can. Okay, so up here, what I would do is cut this to two and a half inch. Okay, so it'll be two and a half inch above here. Chop all that off. Just pretend it is. That looks about two and a half inch from here to here, right? Let's pretend it is. There we go. And all I'm going to do is just, like you normally do, fold it in, fold it over, and that will give me a really big sort of wide binding. I don't know if you can kind of see that. There we go. And for that, because it's gonna be the same color anyway, and then what I will do is I'll take a pearl cotton. I usually use DMC Pearl 5. The reason I use the pearl cotton opposed to like uh, your regular six thread um, floss is because it doesn't break apart. The floss will come apart, which can be kind of annoying. Uh, pearl cotton does not do that. So it's really, really nice and it holds together really well. And what I'll do is just a running stitch, maybe along the very bottom there or something, and that'll just give it a huge pop of color. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And uh, then that's it. There we go. Batting, well, no, a quilt without batting. And that's how I put it together. So I hope that helps a lot of you. Now I'm going to say goodbye. Happy quilting. See ya.